Long before the airplane, they were the undisputed masters of the skies. Adam and Jamie shed some light on the Hindenburg disaster. The Hindenburg. She was the most elegant airship ever built. What destroyed the Hindenburg? Just 32 seconds, a hundred years of effort by airship pioneers vanished in smoke and flame. The great dream of the rigid airship was over. destroyed the Hindenburg. The airships. to an abrupt and tragic end, the golden age of passenger airships. What really happened on the Hindenburg? After two years of production, brought to you at a cost of $15 million, the Hindenburg. Of the humanity. The ship is riding majestically toward us like some great feather. Riding as though it was mighty, mighty proud of the place it's playing in the world's aviation. Practically standing still now, they've dropped ropes out of the nose of the ship. The back motors of the ship are just holding it uh, just enough to keep it from... It's close into flight. Get it started. Get it started. It's fighting. It's fighting. It's... It's... It's looking down at the it's field ahead the of them, mooring. getting oh. a glimpse of the mooring mass. Just because the, the tail surface broke into flame first, then there was a terrific explosion, and... Waiting for the ship to move, nothing seemed to be happening, so the cameraman went out for coffee. As cameramen will, they left one man watching the equipment, and that's when the Hindenburg exploded. He turned on everybody's camera, saved everybody's job. And I want to repeat again something that I may not have got clear, have gotten cleared in the hysteria of the moment. The explosion occurred in the tail surfaces, in the fins, the part that was highest, after it had, it had nosed in to go down to the um, mooring mast. Now, whether something slipped in the back and caused the spark to set off the gas, we do not know. You see, they're using hydrogen in this, or they were using hydrogen in this plane, and it is extremely explosive. And now, something may have slipped, causing a spark to set off some hydrogen which had leaked out into the structure. It's still burning. I don't know what is burning. Evidently, part of the cargo. I raced down to the burning ship, and just as I walked up to the ship, over climbed over the picket line, I met a man coming out. It seems that a number of them jumped clear when the explosion occurred in the tail. Now, while I get my breath, I'm going to check and see if there are any more saved out of it. And uh, it's still smoking, the wreckage is smoking. I think a majority of the passengers jumped when it came close to the ground, according to what Mr. Mangone told me. It's still smoking and flaming and crackling and banging down there. Uh, it's still flaming, 10 or 15 feet high. They're still rushing people out of it. Now, it is my sincere hope 
that, that, that it isn't as bad as I made it sound there at the very beginning. Now, For the death of the Hindenburg meant the death of the dirigible. <laughs>